Hi, my name is Grant Steinfeld. Today we're going to look at running this project, Test Driven Development in Node.js. So the first thing you're going to do is go to the repo and choose HTTPS, copy this, and go to your terminal and type in git clone. And then you'll cd to a directory. And then you'll do npm install. First, check your node version, version 12. That's good. Anything 10 or greater is good. Okay, great. NPM just finished running. It took a few minutes to run, but it did a lot. So what did it do? Uh, we can look in the package.json, and you can see here it set up a bunch of stuff, the HTTP um, HTTPD parser, the CSV to JSON, a bunch of stuff, Express, um, some logging stuff, Winston, um, and over here in the dev dependencies, you can see some interesting stuff that we use. We use Babel. That's to ensure that we can run older JavaScript or newer JavaScript syntax and still use older versions of Node, um, like the import-export statements, for instance. Um, we use Babel Watch here when we do hot reloading. We're using Jest for testing. We are using ESLint for linting, Husky, um, and LintStage for git pre-commit hooks prettier for formatting and uglify as well. So you can see here we're using Husky <coughs> pre-commit hooks. We should be able to run npm start. Great, so now we can open a new tab and browse to the application. So if we go on here and we go to the con conversion, we can test it out. We can change 10 US dollars to South African rands, and we run that. And there we get 143 South African rands as the response. So that's good news. Our application is running as expected. You can get the currency for all exchange rates. So you can see here, so for the basis set as the euro, you can see the current exchange rates, what you'll get per euro. One euro will buy you so many Canadian dollars. So that's the full list of the currency rates. And then we also have a search function here for France, which we're able to... We get the European euro, which is great. And if we want to look up, say, uh, I don't know, New Zealand, New Zealand dollar. Okay, so let's say Israel. And there we see the country shekels. Instead of searching on country, you can also search on currency code here. So and we'll put in the country code ZAR. And then you can see that is the South African rand. So thank you for watching this video about the production flow of the Node.js test-driven code pattern. Thank you.